I think I'm really going to enjoy staying in this town of Kitso. This place is spectacular. There's a very old set of churches behind me. There's beautiful colors hanging, blowing in the wind, festive colors. This beautiful park on my left. This is a treasure. So happy that by accident, or was it an accident? Sometimes I think I'm following my stream and water runs downhill, or at least it doesn't fight its way to wherever it's going. That's to some extent how I try to assemble my journeys. Go where the water takes me, where the flow is the most comfortable. So here we are in Katsu, an extraordinary opportunity for this kid from the Boston suburbs. <laughs> bridge this morning, an extensive bridge, it goes over a lake bed. After a good night sleep in this village, not sure where I'll get to today. <laughs> not feeling my best this morning for a variety of reasons. I'm hoping food isn't one of them. Fatigue, for example, another. When it's hard and you never know when it's going to be hard, you have to keep moving. Even if it's slow, that's what I do. I gotta go super slow, I do, and I wait for my body to come back around. In the meantime, I am in conversation, sitting in a room, watching the thoughts as they come, trying to respond to them without emotion. It helps me to live a better life. I don't live a perfect life by any means, but it certainly helps smooth out a rough sea that otherwise seems to be the rule. Sure was happy to see the hole in this fence. I knew there was a crossroad and I knew there wasn't an exit, but I was hoping I could find my way off of this highway at this juncture. It'll save me many miles. Now I'm done with that smelly highway for quite a while. I will ascend into the mountains, 8,000 feet, so not so serious. And then to Ciudad Hidalgo on my way to one of the spaces where people base their operations for the Monarch Butterfly. <music> December 14th, not the most miles that I've ever done in a day by any means, about 70, so maybe 120 kilometers. I was feeling 
feverish, a warm fever today. Not exceptional. Nonetheless, I climbed several thousand feet through the mountains. I'm really in the mountains now. And as I climbed, I was thinking about camping, despite how I was feeling, because in part, there's more moisture in this part of Mexico, and for that reason, there's more grass. And by chance, I found this space that you can see all around me now, and I'll be camping here for 200 pesos. I'm still here in the town of Ciudad Hidalgo at a lovely hotel. They're setting up for a wedding or some other function. I have decided to once again divert to the mariposa, the butterflies, the monarch.